Yo! Holy... the moment everyone's been waiting for it's the crash at pismo unfortunately there's actually no video of the crash i'm just as bummed as you guys are i wish i could watch it over and over again it's pretty violent i was cartwheeling we actually weren't filming yet it was the first jump of the day fifth go ended up gooning out it was totally my fault ended up taking a digger medium saw me sawing logs ran over to the backpack grabbed the camera then he started filming me so I know you guys are bummed, I'm bummed too, but there's no footage of the crash. Yo! Holy f dude. Uh, you know where you are? Yeah. You live? Barely. You're a champ, that was gnarly. Holy No way. Am I good? Dialed. <laughs> Crusty demons of dirt. Ow. Just uh, just pulled into Pismo about 30 minutes ago for just a quick little rip. First jump of the day. Was feeling all right on it. Tried to style. Ended up swapping somehow. Just, I, I thought about bailing the bike, but last time I did that, I got more hurt, so I stayed with it and caught a meaner swap. Went to the bottom of the bowl. Definitely the biggest crash I've ever had. I'm hurting. So anyone who crashes dirt bikes, I feel for you now. I haven't had too many big ones, definitely in a while, but yeah, it's no joke. Wake Shit's up call, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, where's the closest hospital? I don't know. My oh, hand I... hurts so bad. The ammo about front. I didn't know, I just weeded it. I unfollow this dude. <laughs> oh! Uh, should I be laughing? Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Once I come to the next week, you always just vlog. I'll be hyped. You always laugh at me when I'm crashing, but yeah, I've never had that much blood on my face. Return the favor, <laughs> bro. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> How bad is it this time? What do you always say? <laughs> <sighs> I can't even remember what. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's find this looking hospital. I think it's right or left? I think it's... I can't tell. Dignity, health, Ariana Grande. This seems about safe. Just uh, go up front to the emergency part and see if they'll let us valet. They might have a valet section. And uh, see if we can get looked at here quickly. It's almost a street bike accident over 75. They take it more serious. Tell them your 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 neck and head hurts, and they'll get to you way quicker. Yeah, let's go. I need your help, Tom. I need your help. <laughs> See if you can scare everyone in here.
You need a wristband to go farther than this. I'm about to get wristbands to the after party. <laughs> <laughs> cool. No, no, no wristbands for you. <laughs> Take a seat. Wait in line. Out? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Do you remember yeah. the crash? Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you know where you are right now? I'm gonna ask you some stupid questions. Yeah. Where are you? Possible. I know it's called Aurora. Where am I, babe? Are you not from here? Nah, San Diego. Okay. How long ago did this happen? 30 oh. minutes ago. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh? Packed it up and got her over here. Uh, sometimes it takes a long time yeah, to yeah, get yeah. the dunes. I rode. Yeah, you I rode. ate in the middle of nowhere and rode all the way <laughs> to the track. Did you by yourself? No, I was with him, but he didn't know where he was. Did you see the crash? Uh, yeah. Okay. Probably the biggest one yet. Were you yeah. leaning from your mouth? <laughs> uh, no. No, no. Where did Maybe that blood split. come from? Or I guess wondering. technically. They're all cuts. Yeah, I know. I don't think it's internal. Is that where that blood came from? No. From here? Your nose? I think you broke your nose. Right, inside my mouth feels like fine. Yeah. Did you land on your face? All my weight, everything I had straight to the face. Does your neck hurt at all? Yeah, but not concerningly. Not, it's just sore. I don't think I need no halo or nothing. No, like. I'm not putting a halo on. <laughs> <laughs> not a surgeon. Not a surgeon. I am an ER nurse. Yeah. I just need to, I do need to put glands hurt. My glands hurt so bad, it feels like I gave myself strep throat on the landing. I need a seat collar. Or a, no, we don't need one. Of, no, we're yes, fine. Do. I don't want to be that restricted. I got a neck on the truck. I don't, if you have a neck fracture, uh-uh. Okay. I mean, you wouldn't uh -huh. be able to ride. Yeah, that. no. You landed all your weight on your face. You have significant trauma to your face. And you're having a little bit of neck pain. And you lost consciousness. All signs that <coughs> I've got to do this. Miss it's easily taken off after the doctor can clear you, okay? All right, sweet. It's like a Liat brace. I hope I get a signing bonus. Are you drinking? Nope. Nope. No alcohol, no drugs? Dead ass sobriety. All right. I need these to go back. Start by the accident, landed on his head, loss of consciousness, neck pain. Trauma to the face. I feel like a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you work out? Out in the dunes right there in Pismo. Oh, did the CT scans. Got some radiation in there. Did the hand scan. I think the thumb's a little bit busted. Won't be thumb wrestling anyone soon. <laughs> Don't know if it's going to scare the chicks or sympathy. Right? Yeah, go for it. Feels better already. There's so much sand in that thing. Yeah, just keep your eyes closed. What that? 500 grit sandpaper? Right. At least 80. At least. That thing might be a little busted. Oh, yeah, that hurts like sh. Oh, yeah, that's my thing. Is it broken? It might be. It's pretty gnarly. That thing's pretty deep. Thanks, man. Look, me. Arch in the table, one day. Careful, not careful. You're not going to have any pants when you walk out of here. That's right. So you were doing a jump or something? Yeah, a little bit of a jump in action going on. Okay. Didn't work out so well for you. Nine, nine out of ten times it works. Yeah. This is one of those times. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep my finger close to your eye. I have to pretty much block you so you're not going to see very much anyway. A gorilla glue? Basically. Yeah, for the face. Nice. Chicks dig scars. Yeah, they do. First time I pulled this out since the crash. A little sandy. Uh, a little bit of blood left over in there. Shouldn't be too bad, though. Go get this thing checked out. See if it's still worthy to ride in. I pulled the liner back. I mean, it's a little crushed. 
took quite the impact, but these things are safe. I'm, I'm thinking it's safe. Let's see what Shoei has to say. All right, this is where it all goes down. The real inspection's about to go down now. Visually, it looks okay, you know? It's compressed in there, so maybe Got not a safe, broken visor but... here on the outside. Chin bar looks okay, there's no cracks. Paint's still holding on here. Little chip up here, a little bit of damage here on the outside. Couple little chips, none to the butt though. But not too bad, yeah, butt saved, thank God. <sighs> inside though, let's take a look inside here. A little blood on there, sorry about that one. That's all that. I'm just glad you're alive. Damn. Inside's not too bad, I got a little bit of Pismo sand out of here. I don't know if the sand helped me or... I think it did. It's definitely softer than hard pack or a rock or a tree or something. Looks like your med systems here is actually intact. It did not shift, twist, break. There we go. Safe. Front here has some compressions. You see a little bit of a crack here. A little bit of a difference in the texture here. If actually yeah. you run your finger, it feels... It's compressed down here. here. And that stuff doesn't so pop here, out here, once here. it compresses once, huh? Nope. It's one and done. So, yeah, it works good for one crash. But this is pretty much a fail. Your showy does these inspections for free, too. You can send it up here. They'll inspect it. They'll send you a letter. Let you know whether it passes or fails. And then whether you should get a new one, you can keep riding it. But say most of the time, it's going to fail. Yeah, if you have enough if you're crash sleeping. and you're sleeping and you got blood going out your nose and stuff, <laughs> most likely this thing's done and you should definitely send it in for another inspection. Get got a little here. little knock right here, right? It's not too bad. Actually, it landed right on the spoiler, yeah, but it does have bad. some in the shell right here. So this is one we would want to look a little bit deeper in, right? So you look at the EPS on the inside here. You're actually looking pretty good in here. But if you wanted to get a little bit deeper and absolutely confirm that this is... Uh, a safe shell, safe helmet to be used. We're gonna go ahead and, and rip out the EPS out of here so we can get a look at the shell itself on the inside and see if there's any kind of delaminations, stress fractures in the shell itself to make sure it's not compromised and continued safe for use. This is actually pretty good. There's no stress cracks, see delaminations or anything. But over here, this basically is just paint damage. Yeah. It looks like the shell, the spoiler right here actually absorbs some of the impact, but that would be the key zone right here. That's a pass. This would be a pass. Put it back together. A couple new colorways are going to be dropping here soon. This one's actually super clean. Video doesn't even do justice. This one's sweet. Malcolm's been running this one. He's put out a new video. And then this American flag one right here clean flat black and these colorways are going to be dropping soon dealers and on site so in the next month they're here christmas gift ask your parents shall we well guess all good things come to an end we're tired but we got a fresh let's go Bakersfield, California. Where are we headed? We're headed to Willow Springs. Alpine Star Ride Day. Let's go! Check out that sunrise. Double chemtrail. Poison us this morning. We a couple hits. Shake and bake, baby. Get it going. The fastest road in the West. That's what I'm saying, dude. Is it really that fast? How fast could they be? 69 miles per hour. Woo! Dude, you're big in the scene. <laughs> <laughs> the earliest someone even goes on the track today is at 10, and the email said we had to be here at 7 a.m. on the dot. We get here at 8 thinking it's bad. 
And we still have two more hours. Oh, back to sleep, baby. Let's go back to the truck. Get a clue. A few days later after the damage, things still pretty swollen. What are the results? Are the results in? Is it broken or not? Dad, get it checked. Let's go. We got a ride, dude. If you can get that thing in a boot, your day is going to be a lot better. I'm telling you now. I like the boots here are tighter. Tight. Tight. Oh, this is our spot? Yeah. This is what we're seeing? Oh, it's official. Blue sticker. You know what that means? D class. It's five long. Keep it on two wheels out there, brother. D class. With me, the man himself. What, with us? what is up? I'm gonna send it with this guy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is gonna be good battles. <laughs> you can take me out. Are you taking this guy out? Yeah. <laughs> Leather to tarmac today, huh? We need to test out airbag. <laughs> <laughs> Marsh is for the people. There's a real misconception. Just because the dude rides angry on the track doesn't mean he's not a nice guy off the track. It's the damage liability waiver. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, they had my, they had me sign that before I got here. <laughs> Check those leathers. Check with that leg. There you go. Did you get boots too? No. The only time you wear his gloves. <laughs> oh, the ankle, the ankle, the ankle. The other side. Be careful though. Man, these things are tight, huh? Dude, my foot won't well, even do, do the fit through the kneecap. What do we need to do? Throw some cooking oil on it? Really? Whoa. Well, there's your first problem. <clears throat> Mine feels great. I don't know what he's talking about. Shows the definition. God damn yoga class. Size forty six. Why is that going to help? Damn, we got you out of the office today, having to help with zippers and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what we do without you, man? Trying out here. <laughs> Moto guy out in the street life. It's tough. It's tough in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> what? Look at this guy right now. <laughs> Check that lit kid. <laughs> I like your setup. Yes. Yeah, pretty tight, huh? Yeah, it makes everything look good, though. Well, that's how you wear your Moto gear. I know that anyways. <laughs> you look good. Matching kids. <laughs> How's she look? But it's sticking up so far, it's gonna catch wind. I know, look, I mean, I gotta get a screwdriver, like, look at it. Yeah. But the wind, just alone, you're gonna have to wear a Liat brace just to keep your neck upright. Oh, dude, it's not aerodynamic, is it? Give it a good crank. <sighs> That thing's pretty tight. I'd say it's good for wind. Tight, space. tight, tonight. Tight out. <laughs> Woo! Thousand cc's. You think you're ready for it? Oh, I'm ready, dude. Dude, I'm I don't know. ready. Ricky Bobby Racing. <laughs>
It's not a normal track day or a race weekend. It's just an amazing time where Alpine Stars put together all their resources of people from each industry they know, all the way from quite literally the fastest road racers in the world. And uh, we're all here for the same common goal, to have fun riding a safe environment on the tracks, figuring out what path of life brought them to the motorcycle community, meeting a whole bunch of good people, and getting to ride all day long.